there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he eyes very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it, he will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem after right. far to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So these Ladies fighters are just a year apart with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. Evening. To get us started with the, the official Octagon introductions, we go inside to the veteran Octagon voice of the Octagon. Berlin. Here's Bruce Buffer. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, two inches tall, weighing in at 116 pounds, fighting out of Newcastle, England, Assassin. And now he's producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it a Ready. Ready to fight. All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool play. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off this. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Oh, that couldn't have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter, and he's going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. Punch coming, it's blocked. It's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing this kick with so much force. Looking to land the leg kick now. Oh, hurt him. What a body kick. Big punch lands over the top. 
How's he gonna follow this one? Back to the jab now, no good. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Oh, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Just out of range with the big right hand. Connects with a right. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Oh, lands a left punch there, and a lot of it's set up by good footwork. Really great footwork and setting traps so that he can land that beautiful left hand. Oh, he hurt a guy with the jab. Oh, a huge block there. Five minutes in the books. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. So he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Left hook coming, it's blocked. Nice one, two there. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Fight thus far. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Liver kick. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Lee gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Just unable to quite find that ring. Start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. A oh, little single collar tie there. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Beautiful punch. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs. 
to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Oh, nice hook by him there. How many times can this young man land this particular punch? Oh, and he lands yet another knee. Sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily Stop. Stop. A lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And at some point, these are gonna really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Just missed on the uppercut. Let's get busy with those. Huge block there. He continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a whoop. There. He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Lee gets hit with a kick. Both of them. He's hurt. He's hurt. is up, but man, is he hurting. A finish could come here at any time. Three minutes remain in the round. Nice punch there by Lee. Oh, you can hear the thwack from here as he lands another leg kick in DC. Now we're seeing visible damage as that leg starts to rip. And now you start to see the damage. And now you start to see the limping of the opponent. Watch as he gets kicked in the leg, he's turning away. He can't even get any pressure on his front leg anymore. He is beat up. That leg has been tenderized by this young man. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Real nice body kick lands. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Nice body. Nice punch, Lance. Gotta see a takedown. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch that one. Nice right punch by this young man. the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? How about those five minutes? All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Big kick land. 
Oh. oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Trying to kick the leg out. Wow! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, big left hook there. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Nice shot by the... Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at 2 minutes, 28 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Well, he's...